Okay, welcome back to my latest video, and my voice sounds kind of weird, I guess I haven't done this in quite a while, but in today's topic we're going to talk about my experience selling laptops, or I guess selling my laptop on Facebook Marketplace. So to give a bit of a context, uh, so originally back then in high school I used to have a regular computer that was just meant to do schoolwork, you know, I wasn't meant to play games, but you know, me being a gamer through and through my entire life, I decided to play games on the computer. And I, rem I remember I could run games like Gmon and Left 4 Dead, you know, the very like simple games that didn't require very beefy hardware. But when I wanted to try running games like Sleeping Dogs, for instance, which was uh, a bit heavier on the specifications, you know, I'd always uh, get very shitty performance. You know, I couldn't even run the fucking game, to be honest. So. I was like one thing that I wanted to do when I graduated as a little, uh, I guess, prize or gift for my for my service of serving in the army for twelve years, was to buy a gaming laptop or just to buy a laptop. I mean, back then and even to this day, I'm not very uh, knowledgeable about computer specs. So to me, that was sort of my um, next transitional transitional phase, not in terms of gaming, but also in terms of fall school as well too. And I decided to buy this very nice looking uh, white and black laptop, which was pretty interesting because um, when I was doing some research on like, you know, the prices and all that that other people were selling for, I, I guess I had like a very rare or I had a very limited edition one, which was pretty interesting because all the other laptops that were the same model, they were always like default black, you know, they weren't, you know, red or gold or blue, they were always one fucking black color. And I had a pretty interesting color to mine. So yeah, so um, that process was very fun in terms of me owning the laptop, but then, you know, when you have a younger brother, they always like to, you know, steer your shit and nag, you know, your mom or dad to, like, convince you to, you know, make them feel better by giving them the laptop. So essentially, my brother, he stole my laptop for around, I'd say, like, two and a half years, close to three years, and during that process, too, I was trying to focus more on my academics, so... I decided to just buy a regular uh, default computer or a default laptop because I wanted to focus more on school. And I mean, I would still play games like uh, Gmod and Left 4 Dead, but it was a little bit better. But you know, I didn't really uh, enjoy my experience. And so I, I just kind of waited for the day that, you know, I would get my white and black laptop back. And luckily at this point, my brother got, uh, he started to get more into the whole computer scene. And he actually uh, gave me back my laptop, uh, but he did something kind of a he did something kind of a something kind of dickish though. And what I meant by that was that he essentially decided to buy a new laptop that was much better than mine. So it's like, hey man, have your fucking hand me down laptop back, but I'm gonna one up you. I'm gonna flex on you, and I'm gonna get a much better laptop than than you have. And so you know that ended up lasting for another year or two until he really got you know, super deep into the whole computer, uh, you know, specifications and all, and all that. And when he told me that he was building a laptop, I offered to give him around like 250 for his budget. So I gave him like maybe 10, 15% of the cut and my mom kind of paid for the rest. And when he was in this little process, he decided to give me, give me his laptop too. So now I was um, faced with this little dilemma of where, okay, I have three laptops, but my mom doesn't need him, my brother doesn't need a laptop now, so I'm the only guy that looks stupid as fuck because I have three laptops now. And so I figured, you know what, I need to sell one of them. And most people would assume that, like, hey, why not just keep one laptop and sell two, you know, why not just keep the best one and sell the two shitty ones? And I don't know, I just, I, I, I guess for me, it's like, I just wanted to, you know, take small steps at a time. And to me, it was like, you know, um, with laptops, they're not very customizable. So, you know, when you download games or when you have games on your computer or I guess on your laptop, it, um, it takes up a fuck ton of space. Whereas when you, you know, download uh, PowerPoints and PDFs and etc. in classes, they barely take up any space at all. So I figured the best rationale would be to sell my um, white and black laptop, which coincidentally is my first laptop, because the specs were much inferior and the one that my brother gave to me was a lot better. So when I sold my stuff, on, when I sold my laptop on Facebook Marketplace, I remember I sold it for 300 and I waited for around like maybe three or four weeks. I remember getting a few messages, but a lot of these people were kind of like just fucking around, I guess, like, you know, they weren't really serious. 
and I guess I could relate to retail in a sense because you have customers of all kind. You know, you have customers that you know aren't really interested in a product, but they they're like, hey, you know, why not just ask? You know, it doesn't hurt to ask because you know it's it's not it, you know it's a very low risk or what kind of kind of uh, um, lifestyle or low risk or what kind of decision where you know whatever happens happens, but they're not going to buy it, so it's wasting my fucking time. But uh. You know, me being a first-time seller selling stuff online, you know, I'm kind of desperate as fuck anyways. And then I was like, okay, 300 is too much. Let's sell for 250 And, you know, I got a few more customers too. And I think at one point, um, I think it was around the 200 or 250 mark, I got this uh, Nigerian woman. I don't know why I have to specify her nationality as Nigerian. But anyways, I got a foreigner to buy my stuff. And... You know things were going pretty well we uh you know decided to meet up at this public park near my apartment or near my uh, city and th the problem was that i made a minor mistake and that minor mistake was that i didn't get her phone number i didn't get her car model i didn't get her car cut at all so you know when i went to the park i ended up wasting one hour looking like a complete fucking idiot because i didn't know who she looked like and she didn't know how i looked like but while i was fucking up in a park you know, I remember I saw this uh, middle-aged woman showed up, and back then I didn't think it was her because you know um, I didn't know how she would dress and all that, or maybe I I guess I was just very nervous, so I was already taking this L anyways. But um, looking back at the story now, I was like I'm pretty sure that was her because she was kind of looking around to try to find me, and you know I was wearing my backpack at the laptop inside, but maybe she thought that I was just like another. You know school child maybe she thought that i was just another local because you know my city is known for having a lot of asian people so i guess i fit very very well within my community to the point where she couldn't even identify the seller so after that um i was getting very desperate at that point and i remember i hit some of my friends up i'm like hey man do you want to buy my product and they're like no but then one of my other friends he actually decided to you know be interested in my offer and we decided to meet i think like let's say next week like he did like we were scheduled to meet on wednesday and we were going to hang out too we were going to go to dave and busters so it was sort of a two-for-one deal but coincidentally on friday um friday like i guess friday night or friday uh, last friday prior to next week uh, this is kind of confusing so bear with me here if you don't mind but um pretty much on friday um I got a message from another seller. This guy was Asian though, so I guess I felt more comfortable in a sense. Not to be racist, but, you know, it's just, I just feel more comfortable. But anyways, uh, you know, third time's a charm as they say. And uh, this time I was careful to correct my mistakes. You know, I asked him for his phone number, I asked him for the car model, the color. And, you know, when we met, it was actually pretty good. I thought things were smooth sailing, but... You know, when I showed him my laptop in the park, I found out that the battery had died because, you know, when, because laptops like cell phones are very, um, they're very dependable on a, on a charger. So if you don't charge it for a while, the battery is just going to die. And, you know, I had to basically, uh, convince him or not convince him, but like we basically agreed to solve this little problem by meeting at my apartment and I, ch I would charge the laptop and I would, um, you know, show it to him like, hey, this laptop works. I'm not trying to like one up you or whatever. And you know, I ended up getting my 200 bucks right then and there. So I guess my overall experience would be that it's a lot of um, you know, it's a very interesting situation because a lot of people they didn't really give me the benefit of the doubt, even though I was a first time seller. So I guess this is how the real world is like, especially in online where people they tend to like you know fuck around a bit and not really like take things seriously. I am planning to do this one more time though because I am going to buy a custom pre-built computer and kind of uh, in my phase of buying laptops so I'm going to sell my um, my school laptop and I'm going to sell my uh, my brother's laptop so hopefully the second time around things are a lot better and I will definitely be more um, I guess kind of aggressive because I now know what kind of people I have to deal with but yeah, um, interesting story. Um, despite me not knowing shit about computer specs, I some, I somehow end up finding the wrong kind of people that are just like me. You know, they don't know shit about computers, but uh, I never and I never imagined that they would give me such a hard time. But anyways, uh, that will do it. That will do it for this video, and stay tuned for my last upcoming videos for the end of this year.